Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to another video and today I wanted to show you this very, very, very big tanker. So when I downloaded this craft, I was like, how big can it possibly be? I know it's a tanker, but it's probably not going to be that big. Oh boy, was I not disappointed. And here's the thing, I don't really think something this massive is going to fare well against some waves, especially when we're in an insanely deep ocean. So today we're going to be putting on maximum waves and hopefully not capsizing the ship and making me drown. And if this somehow doesn't flip over from those massive waves, well, we do have a sync button. I think it's in the bridge. Anyways, let's get right into the video now. Okay, so with these massive boats, most of the time you can't even find a ladder to get up. Yeah, it kind of looks like there's no way for me to possibly get up without, you know, teleporting. So let's waste no time there and just pop up on here. Oh, hey guys, fun fact, this ship was actually a real ship and it was made, but I think 14 years after it first set sail, it actually sunk, which kind of makes sense given how massive this tanker is, but apparently it was because of some weird manufacturing error because like i don't know something some components were misplaced all right enough with the history lessons let's actually turn this on okay so here we have extremely important switches detail 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 to be added detail detail and detail oh and don't forget the most important part of this system nothing these switches are very important to operating the ship okay enough with the jokes let's throttle up wait it doesn't work are the propellers not spinning at all well i can't even check because my camera camera actually doesn't even reach halfway to the ship. There's an entire other half of the ship that I can't even reach with my camera. Anyways, I think it's actually this throttle lever. Oh yeah, that's definitely it. I can hear that sound. It is very loud. How fast can we go? Wait, this is actually a pretty respectable speed. Look at that. That's where we spawned and we're moving away from it pretty quickly for the size of the ship. And it looks... Wait, huh? The propeller isn't even spinning. How are we moving? I suspect some weird magic going on here maybe inside the ship nope just one pink box how about further up ahead nope even more empty space oh look an empty space that's yellow this time it looks like this is the very front of the ship and again nothing or is there nothing yeah that's nothing okay wait a second i think that's the sinking mechanism i was talking about earlier anyways i don't think we're meant to be down there so let's just teleport back up here i think this runs really well i'm surprised it's not as laggy and by the way i'm playing on the laggy version there is a less laggy version that you can use and i'm not even using that right now okay enough with the messing around time for the wind oh no we're already tilting a ton and the location the waves are coming from isn't very good because the waves are going sort of perpendicular to us i think you're actually meant to go towards the waves like up straight at them so they don't tip you they only tip you front and back and not side to side because it would be pretty hard to make a ship this long do a back flip or a front flip it would be much easier to roll it over i'm not sure if we're gonna have time to adventure through the entirety of the ship because it has a ton of space inside or at least empty space oh okay i think all of the interior is just empty because you know obviously it would be way too laggy i mean that kind of makes sense doesn't it yeah look at that all empty space i mean i'd rather have a lot of interior space and not have the game be laggy then there'd be a full decorated interior, but my game wouldn't even be able to handle it at all. Alright guys, now for the 5 hour walk to the other side of the ship. Six and a half hours later. Alright, we're finally on the other side of the ship. Way over there is where we started. I literally have to use my binoculars to clearly see the other side of the ship. Anyways, it looks like this doesn't have an interior either. Although there is one lifeboat which probably would be very important. Especially if we were to sink. Speaking of sinking, how is the uh, tilt going on right now? It does not look like we're having a single problem right now. I think that's because the waves actually pushed us towards them. Now we're driving towards the waves. Let's fix that real quick. And now they should be coming from, yeah, a different direction. Yep, now they're coming from our left. Will we flip because of that? I don't really think so. Wait a second. These are seats. No way. Okay. 
Well, they're not really seats, they're um, steering wheels. It looks like my character is actually doing like something that's halfway between a push-up and a plank. The game is kind of confused right now, isn't it? Okay, I don't really think these waves are giving us much trouble at all. In fact, they're giving us no trouble. So I guess it's time for me to destroy this ship. All right, here you go. Sync button, activate. And now if we say pan over to the bottom of the ship, it's already full of water. It's filling up really quickly. Quickly. You know, it's probably going up really quickly because, you know, there's so many hatches. And it looks like the front of our ship is lower in the water now. But we're not done yet. I'm pretty sure there's a sink button right here somewhere. Aha, there it is. Sink part two, faster. Now this should mean either more hatches get opened in the back or in the front. I'm not sure which. Let's go check in the front. Um, I don't think I see any extra hatches opening up, but whatever. All right, guys, one quick thing I would like to say is if you guys are enjoying the video, a like or a subscribe or even a comment would really help me out a ton. In fact, pause the video and comment right now. Do you think I'm going to survive this sink. Do you have confidence in me or do you have zero faith whatsoever? I wouldn't blame you if you took the second option, especially with how many times I've crashed planes before in this game. Anyways, let's go ahead and check on the water level. Actually, still not ridiculously high yet. It's definitely higher than it used to be, but it's still not really, really high. Uh, guys, I think I think I just broke Stormworks. Okay, good. It's not actually broken. What was that, though? Wait, can I recreate that? I don't know how to recreate that. I just teleported my character to take a cool thumbnail and a quick time lapse, and the whole ship turned into this massive platform. Okay, let's just ignore that, shall we? Okay, so after a very long time, water has finally gotten onto the deck. So in the end, I decided to disable waves. They were kind of getting in the way of us seeing the water level slowly rise. But now that we're starting to sink, the water is going up very quickly. Especially since the water is now able to get in through the top hatches and the open doors. I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer. I'm gonna wait until I feel like it's time, then I'm gonna go grab the lifeboat. I'm just gonna say, now that the water level is on the deck, Deck, it feels like we're going down very quickly. Hey, I wonder if anything inside there is watertight and we actually are able to stay in there. I don't really think so. Look at that. The front of the ship is almost nearly on the water. It's just an antenna left. And I'd say we're like halfway underwater. I think the center line is right where my character is at, sort of. Maybe a little bit farther back. Oh no, we're capsizing, aren't we? Yes, we are very much capsizing. Oh no, this is not good. We're flipping. I I really should have gotten that lifeboat out earlier, shouldn't I? No way! This flipped over and it's not even breaking in half. Like, I expected by now in real life, it probably would have snapped in half, wouldn't it? Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. Here you go. Turn off infinite electric and I'm pretty sure, yep, it just snapped in half. Basically, how this works is the two halves are snapped together using magnets and they will never come apart unless you disable the electronics. Then they'll just turn off and the two parts will fall apart okay i know i shouldn't have done that but i really wanted to see this thing snap in half and look at that that's the front part of the ship just falling down to the bottom of the ocean is this ship actually gonna sink or not it doesn't actually look like it's going down very much oh yeah isn't that because we didn't actually send the command to the back of the ship or something like that yep as you can see up here not a single hatch open and down in the water i was a very good captain and i didn't leave any doors open actually never mind i am a horrible captain and all of these these hatches are now open. Although it doesn't look like it's actually making much of a difference. Yeah, look at that. The rate at which the water is entering here is very slow. I reckon we could speed it up, don't you think? Open this door, let the water in. Can I swim inside? Does it not let me swim inside? I just want to go inside to check it out. Nope, I don't know why. Maybe there's some sort of invisible collision. I wonder if that's a glitch or something. If that is a glitch, hopefully they fix that. And let's open this door and let's pop back up to the surface. It kind of looks like we're going down a little bit more than before if i can parkour my way up the ship yep we're ready at an angle okay i'll just be quiet and turn on a time lapse so you guys can watch the whole thing sink And down the ship goes. And well, I think I'm going to end this video here. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!